This is, of course, facilitating school-based teams, part dos. Um, so <clears throat> before we get started, I'm trusting that everybody had a lovely summer. Maybe you did a few trips here and there. Anybody watch any shows? <laughs> <laughs> nice. The office. Thanks, Ken. The Office. Did you binge it? Yeah. You did. Season one and beyond. Mm -hmm. I hope you had a snack. Nice. Feet for two these days, I got it. <laughs> but that's right. Your feet in the masses. Any other shows you watched? Which one? Oh, I don't know it. She just left, but she was telling me about it yesterday. You've got to say it again. Oh, okay. Sorry, you're hearing this take too. You're probably okay. like, <laughs> poor girl. Um, any other shows? Anything that came to mind when I said show? Oh, I so heard about that. That was on my list to watch, and I didn't. Good, though? Yeah, I know. The summer was nutty. I mean, oh. I got engaged, so we were working on wedding plans. Oh, so congratulations. We think. Oh, very I nice. I can't agree on anything, so I just <laughs> they look at me, I'm like, nope, there's no wedding. Stay yeah, for sure. I, I'm surprised that no one... Um, talked about a show that I thought was pretty popular called Excelling in Shelton. <laughs> I did catch that. One. You did? Okay, good. I know all of you have watched at least a few seasons and you don't even know it yet. I'm surprised. Come on in, folks. We were just talking about the shows we watched over the summer. Any have any uh, anybody have anything to add? No, but I can't wait till Mrs. Maisel starts up. Oh, Mrs. Maisel. Are you amazing? Everybody watch that? Okay. Oh, isn't that great? That's a good show. Did any of the three of you that just walked in watch the show Excelling in Shelton this summer? Why does everybody laugh when I say it? No? You, you, you know, you, if you're here, you've already watched the first two seasons, so just saying. Okay, so in any event, we have the time. Let's take a quick look at it then. <coughs> okay. Now, Netflix is saying it's a popular show. Here it is. Excelling in Shelton. So when you go home, that's your task for the afternoon. Find it on Netflix. It's a real hoot. Okay. So um, we know this, obviously. It's... Um, Inspired by the Project Excel grant, we have been reaping the rewards of it. Um, I don't want to bore you with the seasons of one and two, but I just want to remind you, because I know when we start reading it, you're going to be like, oh yeah, I did watch an episode or two of this. So um, <clears throat> remember season one when we got together as teams, we teared the kids? Yeah. yeah. That's right, yes, come on, yeah. You do remember, you I saw do. it like 15 minutes ago. Okay, and your meetings were inspired by, you know, topics that came about through your discussion and such. Did you, Mario, you watch this, of come course. on. Excellent. Then you began to brainstorm the ideas. Remember, Heather, when you watched it with, yeah. And then, of course, uh, the big bucks came. <laughs> and we got the money to spend, and, you know, we went hog wild with, the money that we were given. All right, and then of course, you know, season two begins and the materials come. Remember Kim, when we had to uh, have that little meeting where we just explored all of the um, resources and we really took the second-ish year to dive deep into those project ideas. We're looking again at the tiering. You guys know all this, yeah. And then, of course, even some folks in the room did receive uh, a micro-credential. Just FYI, we don't have to wait to season two for the micro-credential. It can happen in any season or beyond. And, you know, um, some of us are approaching season three where this happened just a few months ago is where we were really kind of like, ooh, changes ahead. 
uh, one of which not being paid to be where we have to be anymore, um, and thinking about how is that going to look in our schools. So um, if you'd oblige me season three, because now we're going to dive deep. Okay, so <clears throat> season three was cool, is cool though. Um, it's totally a change of pace. Suddenly it's like poof, now we're a committee. And we have to figure out, all right, how can we not let this die in the water? Um, and that is a district expectation, is that it doesn't die some, like other grants do, like other initiatives do. I mean, you know, I'm preaching to the choir here. We know how that goes. But this is something that really um, the, the grant kicked us off, but we want to ensure that in some capacity it's growing and moving forward. Um, and so we have to, as a team, we have to come up with ways that the meeting is going to change. And another important part about episode one is that, you know, for now three plus years, you folks have been a pretty tight knit team. But um, as a committee, not that you couldn't have other members joining, but as a committee, anybody on staff could certainly just join in from season three, four, and beyond, um, whatever they're inspired to do, okay? So um, episode two, it, it, it's juicy. It's a juicy one. I enjoyed it myself. I mean, I don't know if, you, if any of you did. Lana, you're laughing. You it was a good one. You did? Excellent. I love doing that sometimes because then it's like you always pick out the little things you missed, round one. Yeah. Um, so this episode builds on projects that you are knee deep in, possibly even, what up folks? Possibly even completed, but now maybe want to take a next step. Um, and whatever that looks like at your school based on what you've already hit the ground running doing. Um, I like to also, th this part of the episode I was intrigued by, um, the other areas of school life. So some of the teams have focused their energies on academia, which is, of course, you know, wh what we're in the business for. But we're also in the business for other things, social, emotional, um, you know, special areas. If you hadn't tapped into projects in that regard, perhaps this is a good episode to kind of start tapping into that and seeing, well, okay, you know, we have this kind of um, on a path. Maybe we can try, you know, incorporating, I, I, I'm making this up as I go along, music, art, PE, um, counselor, psychologist, whatever the need is of the school. Um, and anything that might need a little L polish, you know, and dust, L polish, it's nice. It smells good too. This is an important aspect, although I, I do believe that the people in the room have this in the bag, um, but just as another little piece of the puzzle, um, at this point in our journey of Excel, the TESOL staff should be fully integrated um, into building life, um, attending PPT meetings, 504 meetings. They should be part of the table for um, school improvement meetings so that our L students and families have representation there. Um, and I don't believe that's anybody in this room, but just to throw it out there, if there is not full-time TESOL staff, um, somebody who can represent. So, it, you know, just because you're not certified TESOL or whatever, um, LL representation should be um, in the veins of the school, pulsing through it. Um, PL, um, PL should continue too. I'm not sure how every team is running, but things come up. I mean, students um, that possibly didn't have the same need enter your school. Maybe you have suddenly a, an onslaught of refugees, life students, students coming from war-torn, uh, you know, all of these things that suddenly it's like, oh wait, we have to shift the focus because we really didn't uh, have this in the beginning. And so it's always a work in progress. Whoa, season three is, it packs a punch too. Um, this is where it gets a little hairy and we put our creative hats on as we always do. 
money isn't everything, but without it, we're in a stopping zone, right? So what we have to do is come up with ways to fund um, what we want to continue working on. And I know people in the room are, are doing countless things. Shout out any ideas from the episode, or if you actually, some of you watched the episode. Um, donors choose, PTA, PTO, those types of things that could potentially fund um, either small projects, large projects. Any other thoughts? Any me this is this is a, a cool part of the episode. Nothing is off the table that the district says okay, and the building principal is on board with. So you know, um, any type of fundraising. Some people are into bake sales. Some people say no way to bake. You know what I mean? I'm just throwing out these thoughts. So anything that could potentially raise money, if the district says cool, if the building principal gives support and the team is into it, it's, it's okay. Suggestions of how to keep it vibrant. So you have been two plus years around the same table, bouncing ideas off of each other. That's awesome. However, a thought considering feedback from the families themselves, from the students themselves, and how to put potentially keep this relevant. Um, whatever projects you may have completed, how has it impacted families? Asking them and they're in hearing their suggestions for what might come next for them, for the school. We know of our partners, Boys and Girls Club and Plum. However, each school and the people in it have connections throughout the community, whether it be here in Shelton or who knows, maybe beyond. Um, it's an idea to begin to seek out other community, quote, partners that wouldn't necessarily benefit from grant funding because our, our time with money is over. However, um, they may get a different perk out of it. Sometimes companies have a little extra. They get to, you know, put a little tagline on the bottom of our, you know, this, this was uh, sponsored by and you know they get free publicity and I mean it sounds a little raunchy but hey it works we got to get a little dirty dog sometimes to get what we need I mean that's just the, the lay of the land okay and some of us are moving into season four and when we uh, think about okay this is year four of us doing this is there anything missing um, we've done something with writing, we've done something with welcoming, we've done something with whatever. Is there an element that we didn't hit? Can we talk to special areas? Can we talk to other people in uh, the school that may give us an idea? Do they need PL with um, a particular student or else? and conversations begin and hopefully spawn a new idea. Ooh. That one's not yet in the books. So we're all kind of like in that limbo when we're at that season for episode two. Any ideas or thoughts about what might be there? I don't know either. I don't know what would be there either. That's the fun part. So as we always have said, and um, I know Tara, Sarah, and, and Susan, and all of us, uh, we're in this too. And it's just like it, it evolves as we go. And um, you know, we're just kind of riding the roller coaster of it when an idea comes up or a situation comes up with a student, a family. It's a potential for a new idea. and people to do something about it to make the school and the experience better for the kids and families. <laughs> <laughs>